Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. How does Vivek Ramaswamy relate to James Damore and Google? Let's dive into the connection between Vivek Ramaswamy, James Damore, and Google. Vivek Ramaswamy, a biotech entrepreneur and former presidential candidate, has been quite vocal about his views on corporate culture and political correctness, particularly in the context of big tech companies. James Damore, a former software engineer at Google, became a central figure in this debate. In 2017, Damore wrote a memo that criticized Google's diversity and inclusion initiatives, suggesting that the underrepresentation of women in tech could be partly due to biological differences. This memo sparked a significant controversy, and Damore was subsequently fired by Google. Ramaswamy has often referenced Damore's case to illustrate what he sees as the dangers of woke capitalism and the suppression of free speech in corporate environments. Ramaswamy argues that Damore's firing was an example of how companies can punish employees for expressing dissenting views, even if those views are based on research and personal opinion. In his book, Woke, Inc., Ramaswamy criticizes the corporate culture that he believes led to Demore's termination. He suggests that this culture is driven by an ideological agenda that prioritizes certain political and social views over others, often to the detriment of free speech and open discussion. Ramaswamy also proposes legal changes to protect employees from political discrimination, citing Demore's case as a prime example of why such protections are necessary. He argues that extending civil rights law to cover social and political views could prevent similar incidents in the future. Additionally, when discussing AI and big tech, Ramaswamy has pointed out the biases in AI systems, such as Google's Gemini AI chatbot, which he describes as a global embarrassment due to its historically inaccurate and ideologically biased outputs. He argues that these biases are a result of the incentive structures and ideological agendas of the companies creating these AI systems, similar to what he believes happened in Damore's case. In summary, Vivek Ramaswamy's connection to James Damore and Google revolves around his criticism of corporate culture, the suppression of free speech, and the ideological biases he sees in big tech companies. He uses Demore's case to highlight these issues and advocate for changes that protect employees' rights to express their opinions without fear of retribution. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.